Hello. Well, let's get started. Let's start a new image. I've already got the window open here so you can see. It's. Uh, I'm going to just do a 10 by 8, 150 uh, pixels per inch. Just the standard paper, white color. You can do whatever size you want. We're going to start with the Big Wet Sky and Cloud Brush. Pick a blue. Now how I've got this brush uh, designed is if I start off light, I just put down a little bit of color and I can blend. But then as I press, I can uh, add more paint. And I'm just doing right now, I'm doing circles. But I could do like a crisscross and I could put uh, more paint at the top and then I can start dragging that down a little uh, pressing a little bit add more paint I could change the color a little bit that color in go back to the darker color and just keep pulling that paint down um now that's how i use the brush but the important settings for this brush are bristles and they're at 4.7 right now and you can see the window that pops up at the higher value is fewer bristles so you can make this real wiry if you want you see how that but that's not um, my intention here is to show you um, settings that really don't see that was a completely different brush and that's not my intention is to show you how to make a completely different brush it's how to take this brush keep it looking pretty much like this but then changing it um, so it'll, you can get more out of it and what I mean by that is is what I'm going to show you here now I think that the, the two most important uh, settings for this brush is the amount of resaturation that's the amount of paint and then uh, the amount of, of blending so for instance if we slide the resaturation all the way to a hundred then um, that's light pressure look at how much paint it's putting on compared to what it did I'm, I'm pressing uh, the reset tool to reset the brush back the way it was now if let's uh, do the a hundred percent on the bleed light pressure I'm putting no paint on now or very very little and if I press hard then I do I get paint but those are two extremes just to uh, give you an idea of what's going on you can move these back and forth after you've applied paint and you've got the paint the way you want it here, you could turn the paint off and then you can just come back in and blend. And you can just keep blending until you get it the way the, you want it. Or if you don't want to blend, you know, you can go the other way. You can turn the, the blending down and, and just, put, just put paint on. So. Another setting that is um, that may be important uh, to you is the stroke jitter. I have a little bit of jitter on this brush, and the more jitter, because I'm trying to uh, you know vary that stroke. I like that variation for sky. If that's what if that's the way I want it. Um, 
So if you add a little more uh, jitter to it, then it's going to, um, you know, be even more random. But then, as you can see now, it's starting to lose something. And then the higher you put that, then it's, you know, it's a different brush now. So these settings that I'm showing you are subtle changes. Of course, if you want a different brush, that's fine. You can save it as a different brush. Oh, I should point out that probably the single most important adjustment for any brush is the size. And I probably will never mention the size because I'm assuming that everybody knows that has painter that you can change the size of the brush. <laughs> But that's probably the single most important adjustment. And I would run this brush as big as you can get it for your computer. But I'm trying to record a video and all this. Uh, this is a Microsoft Surface Pro 3. And I love the pen uh, being able to draw on the screen right on top of what I'm uh, painting. Um, I, th I think that's just wonderful. The drawback to this is that it doesn't have rotation. The pin doesn't have rotation, and uh, it's not so important on this particular brush, but when we get into the palette knives and stuff, it's, it's really important. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to work around that. Okay, so that's uh, the tutorial for this brush. Thank you for watching.